What's up, everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo. And Bill. And we just got out of Evil Dead Rise. Uh, yeah, we really both enjoyed thought the movie was really film, good. Yes. We both enjoyed it a lot. Uh, what are your thoughts, Bill? Go ahead and give it to me. Okay. What you would typically expect from an Evil Dead film is there, except it's more serious like the one before this one. Mm-hmm. But you do have your over-the-top fucking blood and gore everywhere it's mm-hmm. oh yeah it's like yeah this is evil dead this is mm-hmm. fucking evil dead i i wish could say a lot more about this film but yeah. it starts off and once it gets going it just does not stop it it's over before you know it uh yeah the movie it does have a couple like of those evil dead comedic moments kind yeah. of like nods throwbacks uh, Easter eggs, if you will, to the rest of the Evil Dead franchise. I don't want to give anything away in it. There's some really great stuff. Uh, there is one really cool scene I liked where one of the main characters literally had to pry a shotgun from somebody's dead hand. Yeah. That was kind of funny how, you know, people say, you'll get it when you pry it from my cold dead hand. Yep. Um, I thought that the movie did rely a little heavily on the CGI. There was some practical, a lot of practical effects, but there was a lot of CGI. And sometimes, oh, yeah. every once in a while, you could tell that it was CGI. Like, you know, it didn't look totally great. But overall, they did a damn good job on this. Uh, Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi were executive producers. Um, there was no... Well, I don't want to give anything away or not give anything away for those of you that are hoping for anything. I thought that the blood and gore was on point. I love that it's basically a brand new story. They got brand new characters, brand new everything, brand new location. uh, Something we've never seen in Evil Dead before. They did some cool stuff, stuff we've never seen before. But you can tell, like you said, they kept it Evil Dead. Yes. It felt Evil Dead. Um, I I, I think it's funny how they like change the Necronomicon every time. Like, they had the original one, then they yep. had the one in the last movie. And now they had this one. And I know you may not... I don't they know if you know this. It. But, no, I know. But, like, the book in this one, it reminds me of the big book of monsters from Harry Potter. The way it opens. It's got, like, the things on it, you know? No, I didn't. I didn't That's what I didn't it looked like. That. That's exactly what it looked like. Um, But, you know, it's so funny. When you go into these movies and you you got all these things that you want to talk about, and then you get out here, and you're like, oh, shit, what did I want to say? Yeah, without spoiling mm. anything. The only real cons I had for the movie was the two fat bitches next to you that wouldn't shut the fuck up. They were, like... Giggling and shit. Giggling, and they had to be high, dude, and they were ghetto as fuck. Talking on their... Yeah, they were on their fucking talking, phones, phones, talking... Um, one of them went out to go to the bathroom and accidentally went out the fucking emergency exit door. So lit up the whole fucking theater comes back. The other one leaves and doesn't even come back for the rest of the movie. I don't know if she was scared or what. I don't know. And while she's gone, her fat fucking friend and they were fat fucking people, fat fucks. And I'm a fat fuck. So I can tell about (laughs) other fat fucks. They were fat fucks. They were fat than me. Two fat ass bitches, way bigger than me. And she fucking, you know, we got them fucking uh, recliner chairs in the theater now. She reclines it all out, lays down, kicks her feet over onto Bill's fucking chair, yeah. and goes to fucking sleep. Yeah. Start and I'm going to tell you right now, is this bitch right here. Yeah, I took a picture of this fat bitch. She fucking annoyed us. She annoyed me. And I, I felt terrible, man, because, like, I bought the tickets. We were up at the very top. There was nobody on my left. It was like we were right in the middle right by the projector. Yeah. Nobody on my left, Bill on my right, and then those fat fucks over here. And I felt bad that Bill would have to sit next to him instead of me. Yeah. It is you what know? it is. They would have annoyed the shit out of me anyways. Uh, yeah. The movie was great. The experience, yep. maybe not so much. It was just fucking annoying. But it happens every now and then. Yeah. It seems like every other time I go to the movies, it's like that. You know, yeah, because people just fucking don't have any respect for anybody anymore. Yeah, it's like they don't know what the fuck going to the movies is. They probably never have been before. But who the fuck goes to the movies and pays to fall asleep? I don't fucking get that shit. I don't. I don't get it. And I'm not talking about like accidentally falling asleep, like curled up, fucking purposely fell asleep during the movie. It's like what the fuck? Um, fuck. What else about the movie do I want to talk about right now? 
I do love the look of it, man. And I love, okay, this movie has some genuinely scary shit in it. It's fucking it, it psycho. Does. It has some it's genuinely shit. scary. It has a very <laughs> creepy atmosphere, just dark, foreboding atmosphere. And like I said, we get some, a new story. We get, yeah, it, it's got yeah. a lot of your typical Evil Dead stuff. Of course, somebody finds the Necronomicon. Somebody plays something. It wakes everything up. That happens in every Evil Dead movie, so that's not really spoiling anything. No, it, it but does. But we get it in a completely different fashion in this film. And I like it. In fact, right now, I want to go home and watch Ash vs. Evil Dead. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys. This is Bronco Juggalo. And Bill. And we're saying peace out. Go see Evil Dead Rise. Go it's see worth it. it. It's worth it. Good night. Afraid of me, many reasons they should be creatures, what they labeled me, leave them bleeding painfully. These bitches.